tilting axis has been shaped in an expansive space that functions beyond nation states and coming back, as we all know, coming back and re-entry is almost an impossible space to consider and marketed extra-regionally. This does not include the arts where men a chasm between local audiences and the work made in the region. Tilting access. For the next few days, we hope to explore ways in which we might continue. This forum is an intervention beyond the national. It intends to be explored. How can a forum like this contribute to how Caribbean artists taught in complex and ecologically fragile archipelago? Calibrate our pitches and our alignment. We receive new intention and analyze our And now we come to this, the fifth iteration. I would like to peoples who named this land Karukera, or the Island of Beautiful Waters, becoming part of Europe's experimentation in colonization recover from. While preparing for this, one of the conversations I had have already transitioned to independence because we already inhabit a post-colonial and really still need to speak about this. However, this perspective did not sit right. And even though power has shifted to majority black rule, the real metamorphosis required to build no four in Haiti or in 1983 in Grenada were harshly penalized, all of them, was rife with corruption, nepotism, and a protomy. It was based on the same pattern of technocrats in power promoting extra Caribbean. Although, although the law is rarely enforced and currently under review with legislation in place which prevents women from being full citizens across the region. So to me, the decolonial conversation is not in fact passe, and that's an art criticism to strategically involve discourses on decolonizing the true markers of self-determination and self-acceptance. And how do we even have the forms of governance and different current relationships to coloniality, where a governor general remains the head of state representing the Queen of England, these territories, constituent kingdom, special municipalities, a varied socio-economic groupings called CARICOM. Cari. Some of us have passports that allow us to live in 28 countries or 27. We inhabit the Greater Antilles, the Lesser Antilles, the Windward Islands, the Leons. The Lucayan Archipelago, also known as the Bahamas. We simultaneously exist in many metropolitan centers. We're in Miami. What does it mean to decolonize pedagogy, governance? How do we decolonize love? What are our collective roles in envisioning or manifest in so many of these countries? We need to be fostered and nurtured. Poetry, St. John Pierce, who said, the only manner of resistance, tilting axis is a gesture of love. It's a good combination. And delivered by Manthea Diawara, University, and he's director emeritus of the Institute of American War when his family was expelled from the country by the regime of Ahmed Sekou Touré aboard the Queen Mary II on their transatlantic journey from Southampton. Uh, and the team, but I've been in Guadeloupe several times, visiting Marie's, and this is one of the play work that you all are doing. Uh, I also want to thank uh, Annalie that uh, the greatness of nations does not, the greatness of nations nowadays depend on the acuity of intuition. The solidarity between uh, tilting axis and then uh, and talking about the world. So I'm really humbled by uh, comedies, uh, African-American studies or Africana studies, whatever you want to call it, literally, you know, how to speak, how to be in front of people, and how to make it like a glissant chamoiseau. Uh, I, I don't think it is of this expression, uh, partageons nos hasards, you know, so it, it, oh, you probably better translators here than I am, uh, being in the United States. Uh, at first, it, because I have joking relations, nice and unnice reasons, but I, I, but I think it has to do Americans, Caribbeans. I said this just recently at an African literature camp. Saved, uh, white people, and they need to say today. You know, 
Trump is le retour du bâton. He is not a cis American, the minorities of the world, basically. They saved America. And uh, they need to, uh, and uh, the poetics of trembling, and it's a fourth uh, chapter of something that poetics of the archipelago, another one uh, that's going to be uh, published in San Francisco, gov uh, Edward Gleason's World Mental. Gleason, uh, I'm finally on that mission uh, that Gleason put me understand my thought. Because people were only interested in opposing, you know, it's a, he, was, he said that with a lot of satisfaction, uh, in a way. So it, in case I have to stop, because I, I keep talking. So uh, summarizing it, I'm going to talk a poem in poetic of relation, uh, or philosophy and so on, to address in some ways. Uh, so going into this writer, or uh, the new Baroque, in some writings, he called and start a new world. So that's what he, when he say he know to raise you. Know, he want us to kind of quickly about it. Gleason felt that talk about la fin de l'histoire. You know, you only know for the West talk about meta meta language. You know, meta philosophy, the end of literature. Well, now literature only refer to itself. Uh, say what you know. It, Actually, it's the Arabian today that are using this new term called diverse histoire, the end of history. And people at Glissant realize something very simple, uh, opening of the world to the histories of the rest of the world. Of every voice has to be heard, and that cannot be considered as lit in literature diffract the aesthetics of this other world. And this is really, uh, Glissant looks at it uh, very original in this when he began to look, you know, to hear the histories of all the other places does not mean that we have to read the stories. Uh, so Gleason make this uh, observation Kuhn, uh, Lucien Goldman have called uh, epistemological break, began to reveal to us some other new things that we, we, we were not operating. That one, modernity, and two, colonization that enabled people to, to link uh, different regions of the world, different thoughts of the world, anchor them, and to so-called civilize them. And then if you look at, they began to create the nation state. I mean, Fanon is great in this, and we all know about it. Binary terms. They were all, nation never intended a Malian to meet a Guadalupean, even though they, but we were not intended to talk to each other. The logic of colonialism is you discover your organization also has to fight that back. It's, it's kind of very masculine in that sense. Very simple. What happened is that the world was united. And when this world come together unexpectedly, creating solidarities, you know, Gleason loved this expression. Only you know it, Gleason used to say, it's being shared by someone in Japan. <laughs> you know, uh, so our role is to connect to, to Gleason. So basically, we have a action. You know, we connected everywhere, but we don't know, we do not know this book of Gleason dealing with this, as you all know, is uh, Faulkner, Mississippi, modernist writer. Faulkner was very big in, for Gleason's generation and in France, by the way. African Americans said, well, no, I don't want to read you, you racist. And Gleason said, because he revealed the America to come, the America that America still doesn't want, in Hollywood, to all the classic novels, short stories, and came to the Faulkner. He made it, he added a U, made it Faulkner. So that's the, how Faulkner wrote. I wrote my thesis uh, on uh, the sound and the theory and hide it at the same time. All the white cat, you know, you have all trying to hide something. They are hiding something. And what, is, uh, what do you call it? It's, uh, it's a bad, bad word, so it's Asian. Now, so Africans, Europeans, this is the way they define. They, Gleason is moving, of course, everybody knows he's moving into the model of creolization, is from filiation. He calls it filiation. Uh, and how, how do we create desaffiliation identities that are? 
you know, être étant. He always talks about this. We have le Cao Monde, we have the new Baroque. But he has many of those aesthetics. Opacity is not the only one. Uh, he has Le Comme in French, or in English for that matter, basically means that's commonality. That Le Comme will see the intuition that I was addressing earlier. Lieu, and my intuition, and the intuition of someone in Guadeloupe here, and the intuition of someone else someplace, Le Comme. This was very important. That, that's how you create revolution, and how, that's how you very well uh, literature of... Uh, airing. Of all those elements, what I'm trying to do is look. Look at the two. I'm supposed to have my uh, PowerPoint to show you some. So two more glisten from uh, Garcia Marquez, uh, Santan de Solitude, 100 Years of Solitude. Monde. Locao Monde meaning uh, the new bar we see in 100 years of uh, solitude. Where they are, okay, and they're talking to each other, diction, they are rela in relation, and that, how different that is from classicism and from uh, Marquez. I'm taking it from Cesar, of course, Caide Retour au Pays Natal. Uh, if you get out of Faulkner, we see Glissance that out of filiation and get into relation, get into these two more chaotic. We don't understand what are we going to do if we don't understand things. After this quick definition of the two mond, and I, we can come back to this, of course, we, we go to Gleason basically in how do, get, how do we get our best things? And Gleason said, well, Maybe one of the first things to dance is too confusing. You cannot have philosophy with it. Uh, but also, Paul, this is, uh, and, and any reader of Glissant will know the dimension de la vérité ou de permanence ou de déviance, the only truth that can link uh, with any kind of certitude, if I'm butchering something here, you know, because I don't see people with earphones. Uh, Oh, they say never point it that way. The artwork is hidden by all those, uh, if you look. Well, and the battle is closed. That's David Hammond also. And then they saying, uh, you know, how many more pallets are you going to be looking for? Uh, and uh, this is something that uh, I wrote. I said about that. I don't put on my glasses. I need to do that. Uh, the first cave artist, soothsayers, shaman, and healers, and in searching for art in a world that has lost its soul through an obsession with his to my knowledge, who is not trying to discover the newest brush stroke, confident that we have simply lost the work of art in our rush to our uh, stance. We are these hegemonic solutions, academic exercises, and uh, the artist's desire to be in the debris of progress and the technicization of human relation and of crumbling buildings, the similar crumb and trompe of art hiding behind a discarded armoire in the garbage dump, abandoned with all practice in rescuing the art work that we uh, only sees itself in every painting. The genius of Hammond reside in his uh, building, uh, just, just now in the press. You know, that's the magic hiding in discarded objects. Mad objects that had been in close contact with the human, restoring the traces of the human, including the touch, the David one time. And so he mocked me. He basically, as I was reading, uh, spirit, energy, magic, he woke up right away. He said, throw the paper away. Uh, one world in relation on Edouard Glissant. Uh, and he said he left the film school because they did montage. And montage, just point the camera to the water, and then we talk. That's all you do. So exactly like David Hall film, I said, I just do that. And what, what ended up happening, uh, and I'm film, because I, I didn't put, <laughs> I didn't put, well, I didn't put as much effort. In, in, in David Hammond is more or less the same thing. You know, they, they say, just show this. And also say, well, stop comparing me to Glissant. 
And I said, why? He said, but if we, we staff was going to say I'm stupid and don't go around always saying nice things about me, so don't tell me about it. Because I would always say, oh, oh, that's like what Gleason said. Oh, that's what Gleason said. He said, Manchester, stop. Or oh, maybe you got... He said something about the poem that I think is really beautiful. You know, the separation of differences. That's problematic. But it is to... Uh, reassemble the differences think things and when i say poem you can also see here art the work of art need to bring out uh, so it, I, I think that's very important uh, in uh, in glissa wave opacity um, and i'm going to start that wave uh, in uh, this at uh, 1999 around that time uh, the, the incredible statement nous appelons donc opacité qui protège le distillation would be uh, opacity is that which really got I'm hesitating because diversity glis and criticizes a lot sometimes I think so this was very important to him and glis what is he talking about uh, when he says that because uh, as a way to talk about uh, ethics being destroyed all the time but also as language, uh, the opacity of, you, you don't know yourself. His famous statement in my film was the broccoli store. I admit that to myself. I should admit also that the person in front of me has an us in our relationship. Because the relationships always begin in chaos. Relationship, but it has to start with that opacity. And uh, uh, the, one of the things that he did, he, he compared opacity to darkness. Because of distance, because he can't see. But he said, but opacity is not limited to darkness there. You know, when you look at the mirror phase, it's a long footnote in the US, it's in White Mask, where Fanon talks about the mirror and then gave a long footnote to refer. The mirror is the white body that you see, or vice versa, the white body, where, <laughs> so more, more athletic, let's say uh, muscular or whatever, it destroyed the white body. So the mirror life. And Fanon described this you know, as inferiority complex, a, a group, hopefully minority of people who suffer from this about all of us. You know? But Fanon warned you in black skin, white man, that he's taught his right or problem. But Glissant is saying, but there is opacity in the media. I have problems with, uh, well, I encounter difficulties with when I talk about opacity because we have these dictators and they artificial. So if somebody is plotting that obviously it was uh, traumatizing and it was difficult for me because at that time the king of Saudi Arabia can just say this is our culture, you know. I mean, mostly there is one short chapter in uh, uh, I, I love Faulkner, Mississippi. I read both the ink. The problem with uh, this core anti is not that it's now well, and the one we have in the U.S. is only 240 pages. So, there is... De, de, C'est bientôt, hein? D'accord. <laughs> so, he relates opacity to difference. Because first of all, for Glissa, you have the right to difference. And we fought for this, mainly. And there is an element of opacity in that. Actually making your difference transparent, and Glissa is against transparent. I close myself in the mirror. Do not surround your solitude or your, lon your loneliness. All is actually, you know, he said the abyss, which African Americans use a lot, Caribbean use a lot. Can we stop the exception, exceptionalism and begin to share our suffering? You know, the identity politics have a limit. Whereas, adverse. Because in, in many, I mean, if you francophone like myself, you can Americans, Latinos, you know, you have to watch out with this difference. Self. You have to talk about identity. The problem is if you fix identity. It was Gleason's critique even of negritude, that, uh, that negritude did not consider. How do we compare, uh, how do we take difference by keeping, uh, don't take difference to the point that, you know, you can no longer use it. Because, uh, so let, let, let me, be, voila, 
il y a l'œil, le regard même peut encore ménager une réduction. Ma more or less paraphrasing, just like the same, and the same is with capital S. Just my paraphrasing, just like the same, insisting too much on only the to fix it. You would, you make your identity almost transparent. You know, he's a black. Not only to to accept difference, but more to yourself. So the other is opaque to you too. Capacity, and then he said, "Qui n'est pas l'enfermement," which is. Uh, op opacity is the only thing that gives us that, it make it possible for us not... Of course you can say that. This is what a Malian is. Of course you can say that, but it's always... The right to opacity uh, would be that which you are helping me to become free, but you are also freeing yourself by accepting uh, love, and that's Segalin. Segalin is like a rainbow. They died of the disease. It become a disease and it, it, according to the, it, that is very arrogant, but he's, this is what, what he said. Uh, and so that's the point of opacity prep for But opacity is not not a lack of light from where the light is issuing or coming. Opacity is the research of the origin, is the research of such a place. When the place is difficult of access, find his place. When the place is difficult to understand, that means found its place. The place of the place finds its liberty. Coupé, coupé. Opportunity to thank uh, Jerry and uh, Donet, Fra Dr. Donet Francis. They were... Merci. Merci à mon moi, mais comme je, je suis habitué à lire euh, ton nom pour cette parole euh, qui nous euh, euh, permet d'entrer propre et respective, on, nous allons euh, faire une pause café comme il était. Euh, donc, si vous voulez vous dégourdir les suffisamment à vous-même, malgré. Euh, 